Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Today, we're moving forward with more inverted levels, this time at the Agapis Dimension. This was a really fun world the first time through, so I'm definitely excited to check it out. And we'll be using the fake Crash skin, maybe in combo with uh, Coco and the fake Coco skin. Maybe we'll just like hop back and forth. Should be a lot of fun, just be able to, you know, check these out since we finally got them unlocked. And there'll be more skins to unlock as we go through here. Whoa, it has like a coloring book feature to it. I like it. So I'll hop into this. Hopefully everything goes well. I guess we'll find out. Okay then, so let's see how things go around here. This is like really cool, but also a little harsh on the eyes. I feel like that's the description for almost all of these effects. <laughs> Very cool though. Um, I don't think I can spin this guy out to the top on top of him. There we go. Um, but yeah, with this area, we have 110 crates to find. So I'll be working towards finding them all. Yeah, you can't spin them. Okay, lesson learned, lesson learned. Uh, Oh, there was not even any crates up there. It was just one for fruit. There we go. Did I get it? There we go. Got to be careful of these like tentacle things. But yeah, we'll be just trying our best to explore all this and, and find what we can, as per usual. But yeah, it's cool that like at this point in the game, oh no, uh, the, the angling is a little weird. I can't quite tell. Okay, that works, it's fine. Ooh. I'm gonna have to go back. Oh no! Because <laughs> I noticed there was one up there. Yikes. All right, this is already tough. <laughs> this is already difficult. But it's hard to see the little landing circle for Crash. Which definitely makes some of this a bit challenging. But all right, this time we got it. Ready? Jump on him. Go up. I went over it. Wow. Okay, good timing, good timing, good timing. And then, ah, oh, darn. I was gonna land off of him but once again. It's just a little weird to make that jump. Don't, okay. Okay, so we can sort of kind of jump over it. Oh, there's a box in behind here too, so I guess it's good that I messed up. So I could see that one. That time I got it, awesome. Now this one has a bit more of like a sweeping motion. No crates behind here, right? Got it. Think we got it all there. Yeah, looks like it. So this is one of my favorite areas in the game that we went through the first time through, just because I really like the atmosphere to it. I feel like it feels fresh and new, but still like cro classic crash sort of um, environments as well. Whoa. Ah, oh, no, I missed. Not good. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, so we're back at it again on the slide here. A little bit difficult to keep up with and you're not supposed to do that. It'd be cool if you could sort of still slide back and forth while you're on top like that, but now you just have to hold on to the bottom. But yeah, I mean like, of course Crash 3 sort of had some dinosaur themed levels, but I feel like these feel a bit different. They're always a little bit more lush than those were. Those were like a lot more like volcanic. Okay. Uh, yep, get down that way. Haven't seen any sign of the secret gem just yet. I'm hoping that that's something that'll poke out a little bit easy with this effect. Wow, I love how the rocks are colored. That looks cool. Just like this entire, you know, crayon effect, I suppose you could call it. Hmm, what about up here? Nothing, can't even get up there. Hmm. All right, trying to just be thorough while we have the chance. We're already at 38 crates. I mean, to be honest with you, 110 isn't so bad compared to some of the levels we've gotten through recently. So hopefully that means we're sort of in good shape. Oh my. I mean, we're handling it. There's that. Oh, and we get a bonus area. So weird that they put the bonus areas right next to, next to the checkpoints, which also give you a checkpoint. But I sort of remember this being a little weird. I'm going to just jump off of those once for right now. Oh, that is very little time. <laughs> okay, well, not exactly what I was looking for there. Yeah, I don't know how you could get through that in time. This is not like a slowdown area. Huh. All right, let's try again. Bounce off of these. 
Got it. But then these ones are gonna... Oh, no, we got it. We got it. I thought it was gonna disappear faster than that. We're making it work. But that does not do anything with this one. Okay. Yeah, let that time out. Ah, I don't trust it. One more time. One more time. Ready? Go for it. Got it. Got it. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. And then one more time. Right? No? Huh. Weird. Okay, so I guess that if I hit those, that, that was not a timed one. That's what I was getting confused before. Okay, so now that I've hit that, I should be able to come back. I was sort of expecting that to be timed, but it wasn't. So, yeah, now I can get these. Um, I'm a little bit worried that I won't be able to make it back. Uh-oh. Oh, I just barely can't. Okay, so I do need those jumping crates. I thought that, oh, maybe I don't. I do. All right, now I sort of think I got it figured out. All right, they crash. Let's go back in. So I'm going to just do the singular hop off of those, bounce off of that, and then this we should be able to keep time with, no problem. And then I'm gonna bounce off that, but then leave it. Hit this one, then we go back through. And remember, we don't have to worry about timing here. And I guess that's like my only concern. Hmm. I'm still a little confused on how we get around all of this, because I don't know if I can get up there from here. Yeah, that's, this is super weird. I don't know the order, and that immediately disappeared. Oh my gosh. What do you do here? This one's super weird. Oh, maybe I can make my, oh yeah, we can get up there. Okay, gotta be careful though, gotta be careful. Gotta time this just right, like just as I'm moving, boom. Got it. Now that I got that first one, I think I'll, I'm like guaranteed to be on pace for the rest of them. There we go. So I didn't realize I could jump up there from there. That's sort of what I was missing. We do get the second Lumpa gem from that, and we're at 64 crates so far. So hopefully we haven't missed any. Um, I How many times have I died? Four times, so I definitely will have to replay for some things. But with the timer now, Oh, is this a timed crate one? Maybe not. Okay, so it's not. Whoa, the platforms are gone. I didn't even realize. Uh, don't you dare. Wait, 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 wait. All right. That should explode the nitro. Let me get the Aku Aku. And then we can grab them. So, so far, like, well, we're stacking up on crates, slowly but surely. Oh yeah, that's right. I have a slowdown feature, so I can explode these myself. Sounds like a good idea to me. Oh my. Ooh, ah, got it. We're fine, we're fine. We gotta be careful with that. We don't have to slow down anymore. Just one away. Okay. Get rid of that bug, sure. Is there anything up there? Oh, I see the gem way in the distance, way up there. How do I get that? I think I see how. Uh. All right now, let's see that. Let's see, I don't know if there's a way for me to destroy that. Okay, well it doesn't matter if I can do that. I don't think I got it there, but I saw it way up there. This is what I do, I got it, nice, awesome, okay. So let's get up here again, and big slam. That was cool, I'm glad I could see that a little bit farther ahead. So we got the secret gem out of the way. If not anything else, and we got a checkpoint. We're 96 out of 110. What do I do here? Oh, oh my gosh, close one. All right, jumping over. So 100, so we need 10 more crates. Hopefully we can find exactly that many. There's two. Next one's down here, that's three. Oh, I was too soon, or too late, I guess. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, that's three. Here's four. Let's slide to the left like that. We're at 105, 106. Let's hope that there were four nitro. There were, awesome. So for the first time through, we got all the crates, all three wolf of fruit gems and the secret gem as well, the hidden gem. So all I need to do now is die two last times. That really shouldn't be an issue at all. All right, awesome. A great start if you ask me. All right, there we go, got through it. So there's all the gems for this first level. I think it was called Boss from the Past. 
or blast to the past. Very cool. So living fossil um, was our costume there. Very cool to see that as well. Um, so I think I'll switch over to fake Coco for this next one, but then maybe we'll do these other costumes. We'll have to wait and see, but there's a lot of costumes now. <laughs> Pretty cool. We're getting to a lot of them. I should be able to just do different ones every level now. Um, so yeah, going up this way, I'm gonna switch over to fake Coco. <laughs> Same deal, goofy teeth, big eyebrows. Um, and we're doing Agapus Dimension, Fossil Fueled, Inverted, and we do unlock a skin for Coco. So yeah, let's see how it goes. These All right, so we, we start with Cortex, but I do think we eventually pick up uh, Coco later, so it should be fine. But once again, a moderate amount of crates, 101. Uh, nothing we're not used to at this point. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything up there. That's what I'm trying to be careful of, make sure I don't miss anything. Oh, I see some stuff up here. All right. We'll blast that. Oh yeah, we can use these guys as platforms. I love how like vibrant everything is. Once again, it's a little harsh on the eyes. Ready, boom. That didn't hit the crate? It looked like it hit the crate to me. There we go. Hmm. That was pretty good. Anything above him though? Nope. Oh, there's some stuff down there. I guess this is supposed to be our first Cortex level. Yeah, looking back at this, now I remember. I'm like, this seems a little weird that there's a pit here. I guess it's, uh, it's like a tutorial. Interesting. So yeah, this was our first Cortex level in the story mode, or the main game. I mean, I guess this technically is not the story mode anymore. We're playing the same levels again. There's a lot going on here. I'm gonna blast that thing. You're a platform now. Oh, and there's a crate up there. Yeah, I think I missed this one last time. Still not quite getting it. I might have to turn you back into a normal. Oh, he got me. That's not fair. I was just trying to get him a little higher up. Darn. I gotta do it all over. Okay, I think he's a little higher up. Let's see if that's enough. Like still, no, no, no. I got it, I got it. Okay, thank goodness that's out of the way. I'm actually gonna use him just to get across you a little bit safer. But that was a little tough to get back to. Oh, that green stuff he shoots out. Not only does it look nasty, but it's also very difficult to see in this color setting. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. 33 crates. Hoping I didn't miss anything. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, we're sort of storming through this quite well. I do remember this part being a little tricky. I love, once again, the color of the lava here is really cool. There's a lot of little details I definitely do appreciate. There we go. Um, now I can get that. I don't think I wanna hop down there quite yet because I don't know if there'll be an easy way back up. And there's stuff waiting for me over here, so. Was that it though? I believe so. Okay, let's go. We'll plop off of that, oh my gosh. There we go, so we're just about halfway through. I wonder if I can get up here. Ah, I can't. How cool would that be? Just running around on the on the skeleton there, the vertebrae of it. Okay, got that one. There's the other. I don't quite know what I'm doing here. That, that worked though. <laughs> Whatever I did, it worked for me. So far, we're doing really good. Whoa. All right. And then, gotcha. No crates up here. Maybe you don't play as Crash or Coco in this one. Maybe this one's just Cortex. Ooh, trying to think back now. Volcano, I might man. be wrong. I think the Should first I level that each character's in is just a level for them, while the other levels are a little bit more like they're always a mix. Ah, darn. There it goes, there it goes. I do not like this very much. We'll turn you into a little platform. And while I'm bouncing, you know, take a good look around, see if there's any. Oh, this is too stressful, I can't like hit him. 
I don't know if I could eat this from here. I might have to land then turn him into just like a normal rock platform. Ready, go. Timing was good enough. I almost fell off the side though. And got it. Oof. Scary moves. Watch out for this guy. He's a problem. Ah, no! I forgot that I hit that already. Ah, darn. Okay. Uh, there we go. Snagged all five of that. Looking much better this time. I definitely want to turn this into super bouncy. Is that the secret gem up there? I think it is. There we go. Hidden gem found. So I definitely want to, if I can, turn that guy into a platform because the goo he spits is very toxic. Doesn't look like we missed anything else. So I think I can hit this checkpoint pretty comfortably. 75, so we have 26 more to go. See a number of crates up there. Well, let's check behind the, that's another thing that can be very sneaky is when they hide crates behind here. Like occasionally that's fine, but when they do it so often it just, I think it's a little annoying. A little bit of a pestering thing. Don't hit me with that. Okay. Got the crate. So now I can just worry about getting up here. I need to also try to make sure we don't die because of the fact that we can actually get the die under a certain amount of lives thing. Okay, he'll be a bouncy platform. Get over to that one. Don't want this one too much in the way, do I? Maybe from there would be good. What's going on up here? Get an extra crate. Some other extra things going on up here. I don't think I want to jump down just yet, though. Or jump down to the left. That's the main way I'm supposed to be going here. All right, this jump, oh, it scares me. I might have to move him. Ooh, that was close, way too close. But I think that seems like everything to me. Let's just start breaking some of these. All right, looking good. Oh boy, so it's like, it's sort of up to the nitro here. Actually, yeah, there we go, we got it. Awesome, so on our first way through, we got ourselves all of the Wumpa for gem, all the crates, and we died. Yeah, we got everything on the first go. How cool is that? Now, we didn't really actually get to try uh, fake Coco, so we'll try that again in the next level, but still, that was really good. All right, so our third level here is gonna be Dino Dash, inverted. Oh, it's a cool little skin we're getting for Crash for getting this one done. Very cool. Um, but yeah, we'll just keep going, see how this ends up happening. This time, for real, fake Coco. All right, so I'm guessing this level's gonna be much more difficult, just because the last two have been so, much more, I'm not gonna say easy, but tame, I guess is the word for it. Uh, I can only imagine things might get a little rough here. We'll find out. Um, it looks like we have 159 crates to get through. Then I immediately fall off the edge there. Whoops, that was not what I wanted. Uh, let's try this again then. Might just spin through that one. But yeah, no crates behind the log. Yeah, this is one where you have to jump on the dinos. It's funny because it feels, you know, so visually like a different level with this color scheme. And also like all the white, like all the stuff that hasn't been colored in yet in the in the distance, you know? It really has like a big color book in that way. All right, let's get rid of him first. Knocks out the other enemy. Thank you very much. Nothing up there. All right, so far so good. It's crazy to think we're really starting to get through this. I think there are three more areas after this one. Oh, and we got this guy, so we should be able to switch around a little bit, just like that. Oh, I guess it's like putting that mushroom in and out of uh, existence. There we go. It is uh, honestly a little bit difficult to notice the blue outline of this effect, which is once again a concern, like I just missed that crate, darn. That's gonna take a couple of tries because it's so hard to see it when you're out in the open like that. It's almost like dedicating it to my mind. See, I'll switch over, grab that one, switch back. Then after I get through this, we switch over again. Then I can hit that. 
Oh no! Oh, I missed one again. Darn. Yeah, let's just fall for now. Very, very tricky. There we go. There we go. Got it. This time, looking much better. I'm gonna hit that checkpoint. I'm gonna keep moving forward. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, that's right. These make you dizzy. Gonna have to watch out for that because we got the big dino chase, don't we? Oh, I think we do. Dude, this is where our extra speed up goes well, right? Okay, we have three more worlds after this one. And this is the seventh world. There's the eighth, ninth, and tenth. Oh my. Okay. We did it. Awesome. I mean, I say that, I think there's still more. But that's where Dingo Dial steps in, which is, I think, the next level. Oh no! Oh no! Did I just goof that? I think I did. I mean, there's another crate up there. I can still get it though. Okay, thank goodness. Let's hope there's not anything more up that way. Not really any way I could possibly tell for right now. Okay, well, let's just hope there's not. I'm at 64 crates already. That's a pretty decent amount. Considering it doesn't feel like we're pretty far in this level just yet. There we go. Oh my. Watch out for the green goo. There we go. We got it. We got it. We make it look easy. And then here is the checkpoint and the bonus. So at 74, this is going to get us 38 more crates. Wow. I remember this one being really tricky. Look at all the baby dinos. I love them. All right, nothing like, once again, I, I can eventually do something over there. But not now. Get this guy. And they're gonna start bouncing. All right, got it, no problem. Then just this one in the center. I think that's... Whoa, whoa, hold on. It's not. One last one over here. And that should fill up these ones as left. So yeah, 38 crates. Obviously, it's quite a lot of them. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Now, I may have made a mistake here, yeah. Okay, I need to get those ones first. That's fine, we can make that work. Okay, so far, so good. There we go, and then I get that. You know what, we're not gonna, actually maybe I should, I really don't know. I get a little worried about the Wumpa Fruit sometimes. There we go, then I just gotta explode these two. Boom. So 38 crates, that might be the most filled bonus level we've had so far, and that gives us a 112 out of 159, so we need 47 more. Which I think we have another Dino Chase coming up, so hopefully we can get that. Whoa. Actually right now, it is it's definitely still a Dino Chase. There you go. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I missed the mushrooms again. I forgot that they do that. I mean, luckily, any crates that we miss in this big rush, I think if he gets them, it still counts. So that's pretty nice. And there's lots of nitro as well. Oh, he, he's a little afraid of that jump, isn't he? Hmm. I want to be careful with this because I want to try to. Is there anything up there? I'm not sure. Let's try one more time. You get some major error, but it's not enough. Okay. I don't think we have found the hidden gem yet. And that's what I'm really looking for at the moment. Oh, this is a little tricky. Whoa, the lava bubble. Oh, no. See, that, that timing there is really tight. Hard to make that work. And now I'm definitely gonna have to replay through the level. A little unfortunate. Oh yeah, that's right. I think the last time it was back here. Not back here anymore. Just in a weird open area now. Ah, come on. There we go. All right, so let's land here. Go under that one. We're making it work. Might as well take my time with this. So we can land right onto that. There we go. We're getting smoother with that. 
Can't you shouldn't be a problem. Doesn't look like there's anything up there. And we're good. Let's keep moving. He's back. Which honestly, glad to see him. So let's see. Will him hitting that should bring you to 147? And it did. Good stuff. Alright, we're fine. Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't even see that. Almost fell right into the lava. Oh, there I go. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Okay, I guess we made it this time. Now here's the moment of truth. No, we missed one still. Hmm. Darn. Maybe like, oh, I'm tempted to retry. Tempted to retry. Because maybe I just missed it along the way. I don't think so, but it's certainly possible. All right, well, I tried, I could not find it, and I couldn't find the secret gem either. That really stinks, but we'll look around, we'll try to find that last one. Hopefully it's not too far off, but I mean, we tried. Let's try again. Okay, so I'm not really sure which crate I missed, but I did get it done. I did die one more time than I needed to, and I still haven't found that hidden gem. So I'm going back through again. Hopefully this time things work out. Whoa, what? Really? It's okay. So I sort of got sick of looking. I've been looking everywhere, so I was like just jumping up on corners and stuff. Oh gosh. Whoa, poor Coco. Oh my gosh. But uh yeah, I got it. <laughs> that was a little crazy. It was up here. I was not expecting that, but very sneaky of them. So I gotta get to this level without dying another time or another two times. So hopefully that goes well. Alright then. So I was able to win. <laughs> Was able to do it without dying any more time. So there we go, this level finally completed. This one was certainly the most difficult so far. So let's hope that the next one isn't too bad. All right then, so next up we have Rock Blocked Inverted, the last level today. So let's go for it, hope for the best. It's gonna be a Think It Out level. I do remember it, so like we'll play this and then we play the Coco section after, so it'll go pretty good. All right. All right, so here we are. We have a lot of crates. There's always a lot of crates in the Dingo Dial sections, though, so it's not too much of a surprise. 317 of them, so let's try to get through this one. I don't remember this level too much, so it is pretty cool to sort of see it and explore it again. Um, I'm guessing I need to throw this to destroy it. Yep, we got it. I feel like what I'm mostly worried about with how crazy that inverted gem was before. I'm a little bit worried about this one. Okay, what's gonna go on here, you know? I do see way over there to the left, it looks like we had a couple of extra crates. I do not want those to slip by me. There you go. And those are the kind of things we need to be careful for because it's right at the beginning of this level, which means I'd have to replay through the whole thing, get all the crates again, if I were to miss them, you know? So not what we want. Do definitely want to grab one of these TNTs, launch it over to that. Hmm. That looks good so far. So I'm just trying to be diligent for obvious reasons. Looks like we do have another one right down this way. It's quite obvious that you just point and shoot. Okay, so far so good. Think that levels are a lot of fun though, don't get me wrong. Okay, I don't know what I was expecting there. Oh, oh no, oh, okay. I, I had remembered right at the worst moment that there's more back there. Okay, so let's see what's over this way. Um, I don't know if this is the best idea. Oh my. Uh, Oh, what's over here? Nothing. Okay, I'm a little confused. Maybe the secret gem would be there. I'm guessing that's what it is. There we go. Okay, I finally got it that time. It took me a couple of tries to sort of get right, so I'm glad we sort of figured it out that time. I, did, I just decided to like restart the level a couple of times, because you know, if I could get through this with the three lives, it'd be great. There we go. Okay, now we're, now we're zooming. We got the checkpoint. I need to get this and then launch it. Yeah, ah, oh, <laughs> wasn't ready for that. Okay, man, this level's brutal so far. It just doesn't let up, really. Okay, pick this up. First thing I'm gonna do is just jump, launch, and then fly away. Now I need to get another one. I'm sure you can see. On the left there, there were some crates. Now to get that, I think that I can just launch that over. Yep, I can. Oh, no! Every time I make progress! <laughs> One inch forward, a whole foot back. All right. Get rid of this guy. 
That's it. We're doing it this time. And then I'm gonna grab this one. Wait for that to pop back up. I waited not long enough. There, 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 there. Oh. Okay, so, can pick up all that. And it looks like, I think that's something later on, we don't have to worry about launching TNT into it. I don't think, I hope. Uh, in the meantime, I don't think we needed that. Oh my, we'll find out. Let's break some of these, just one at a time. Okay, so far so good. We're almost at 100 crates. It doesn't look like there's anything over here, but do I want to risk it? I don't think so. Maybe like after I get the checkpoint, we're already at the four depths. Might as well. Ooh. Nope, nothing. It's weird how the water just doesn't move at all, you know? Makes it look like you could just step on it. You know, sort of has that, ow, oh, comic book effect. Poor dingo dial. One more time. These guys are super tricky. Gotcha. No, they took my crate away. Uh, oh my gosh. That, does this level gets harder and harder every turn. Come on now. Get rid of you. I'm gonna do the same thing again to me. Just gonna keep going, keep going. There we go. Looking a little bit better. The more crates, the better, right? Does this hurt me to the left? It does not. It was a bold way to find out. It's quite the jump we're getting. Quite a lot of air. What am I using this for? I guess just to destroy that. I have a feeling there's gotta be something more with it I can do. Let's pick it up again. Give it a launch or something. I guess not. Hmm. All right, definitely dodging you. Haven't found the secret gem yet, but there's still, you know, there's still places. Hmm. Well, I was hoping to get rid of the nitro with that. Maybe I'll get that checkpoint first. I don't know if that was actually the best idea. All right, yeah, we can just go down here. Playing it safe, as safe as I can play it. I can only hope that at the end of the level there's like some nitro stuff we can hit. We're still making our way up with the with the uh, the crate number. Oh, let's get it to halfway. That'd be, I think, 158. About there. Technically, one more than that would be over halfway. Does that have to be like 0.5 crates? Oh no, I forgot because the water isn't moving. Okay, we got it this time. Just gonna bounce off of all of this. And then we can make it up here. Oof, we got it, we got it. So 149 crates in Dingo Dial section is a little concerning, but I think this is gonna be chock full of uh, nitro or something, chances are. Um, let's get that and then run. <laughs> Don't wanna get hurt by that. Ooh, okay, so we're actually starting this a little bit earlier on in the level than I was expecting. Come on, oh, I made it, I made it. We don't have Aku Aku, so we do have to be careful. Ooh, what's up there? Not too much. This is Wumpa Fruit. You still have to worry about Wumpa Fruit in this level. It's not like a two carry to I. Um, But yeah, we got the bonus and everything, so we're starting earlier in the level than I was expecting. Oh, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Gonna hop up here. This one. These aren't timed. Yeah, this is 42 crates in it, wow. Flames go off there. Whoa. Wait, so where are we off to now? Did I mess that up? I, I guess I did? That was weird. Okay, that's how I got it. I, I was supposed to land on top of it, I suppose. That definitely opened up a lot of options for us. Let's definitely get all of these. Remember, we're still trying to get the Wumpa Fruit Gems. I can land on that one. That's a lot of nitro. Okay, gotta be faster. <laughs> Note to self. Okay, but we got this figured out. I think that we know what to do now. We just need to be faster. So, it's weird how like there's like eggs loading in there and you can see they sort of like flash for a second. 
Looks a little weird. That's gonna explode. We're gonna land on top of that. Wait for the flames to go off. Got it. Flames are gonna go off again. Now if we hug the corner, we can just land here. There we go. So, land on this, be quick with that, and then spin that one away, I think. I'm hoping that I can come back. Hopefully there's like a nitro throwing thing. Oh, that's risky. I don't know if that's worth doing. There we go. Whoa, whoa, that was weird. Big slam on these. We got the two flame crates. That one, and then turn back around and give this a slam, just to be extra safe. Okay, so 42 crates in a bonus section, by far the most, I think, in a bonus section we've seen so far. At least in the inverted levels, honestly. The main levels are sort of out of my memory with that. So we can only hope that there's gonna be a bunch of crates coming up. So we still have 104 to go. Oh, get an Aku Aku, that's gonna be useful. Definitely spotting a lot of Nitro. This is the kind of level, though, that it'll really stink if we uh, get to the end and we're missing one crate. It has already took me a lot of time. But it's just sometimes how these levels work. Ah, darn. Okay, it's fine. Sort of messed it up, but it happens. Okay, we made our way through. I didn't even realize at first. It sort of looked like we were just keep going to the same spots over and over sometimes. But there we go, 253. Get a checkpoint. Haven't found the hidden gem yet. I don't think they'd put it here twice, right? Hmm. Oh no, move back, move back. Lava's gonna go off. Slide jump through that. Almost, we got it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we might be done. Ah, oh, darn, I really needed to not slam on that one. That was my only chance. Okay, let's try again. But yeah, as we're going through this, one thing I did want to mention is that, you know, I think this probably, this level, this world in general, has my favorite theming to it, this like Jurassic style, is probably like, my favorite in the game so far that we've experienced. And I don't think there's like any extra worlds after inverted and stuff. So I think we've seen like, in terms of the themes of the game, all that there is to see. And it makes me think, who knows if there'll ever be a Crash 5, right? But if there is, do we think this is like, uh, like where do they go from here? It seems like they've covered every environment type, right? I don't know, I thought that'd be a little crazy. So I can't really think of too much of what they could possibly do. Without it feeling like it's sort of recycling the same thing. I think the next best thing is if they were to ever do a Crash 5, that they do it like Crash to Insanity, where it's like just like a fully 3D experience. Like it's just like a totally new style of gameplay. Oh, I guess, I guess the dinosaur got me there? Yikes. Okay, that's how I got it. I think I was trying to double jump where I really shouldn't have. Okay, what's going on with all this? Oh my, um, I don't need the Wumpa for gems, so it might not be worth doing all this. Might want to play it safe. But we're really close to our total here. And we got it, awesome! I was so worried about that. I'm so relieved we got it out of the way. So we're still looking for the inverted hidden gem. But you know what, not too bad. We'll find it somewhere. I'll look high, I'll look low, we'll find it. Oh, I think I just saw it. Yeah, you can just barely. This might be a bit of a tough jump, but. Oh no, I might've missed it. That might've been my one chance. It's right up there. Oh, I can't get it. Oh no. Oh my gosh, we're so close. It's definitely up there. I can see it's taunting me. Ah! Oh, not fair. Okay, here we go. Got it. Oh my goodness. I died a bunch of times trying to get that and get up to this. This is a really tough level. So I got the secret gem, but unfortunately now I have to play through the whole level again and not die as much. All right then, so there we go. We got it. <laughs> Level complete. I just barely did two. Had three lives, that was it. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna keep moving forward. That should be the last level for this area.
Okay then, so Agapis Dimension totally completed, both normal and inverted. Happy to see that we unlocked a cool set of new costumes as well. So next episode, we'll be moving all the way up here to the very outer space levels. Uh, this is Bermigla's Orbit. We have quite a few levels to tackle in here. It looks like we have one, two, three, four, five of them. So that'll be fun to do next episode. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we unlocked uh, the Living Fossil costume and Floater. I love Floater. We're definitely checking these out next episode. Same thing here, Living Fossil and Floater. <laughs> Very cool. Well, that being said, that is going to wrap it for today's episode of Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.